Well, yesterday you watched the instructional video at the beginning of lesson 1.10, but today we'll actually be getting into the lesson and performing its activities. Lesson 1.10 presents to you supplementary vocabulary, mainly nouns which accompany the first five verbs that you've learned up to this point. Um, today you'll be working with that vocabulary, putting those, those words along with the, the corresponding five verbs into complete sentences. Uh, affirmative sentences, negative sentences, and questions formed in two different ways before you'll finish off the lesson with, uh, with a brief self-description that you'll give over the course of one minute. You'll time yourself and using the images at the end, at the, in the very last section of Lesson 1.10, you'll talk about yourself, you'll describe yourself based on the limited vocabulary that you have at this point. Um, however, before you actually go to Lesson 1.10, I'd like to point out to you a feature um, of the unit of which you may not be aware. It's uh, the lexicon and it's a feature which can enable you not only to review vocabulary but also to hone, to perfect uh, your pronunciation of this vocabulary. So let's go see it right now. So here you see we're within the portion of the website where you receive the daily instructions as the activities you're supposed to do. But we want to look at the lexicon specifically, the lexicon for Spanish and for Unit 1. Uh, the easiest way to get there from this page, of course, is simply look at point number two, click here to access the lexicon, and to familiarize yourself with the, how the lexicon can help you review vocabulary and perfect your pronunciation. So clicking here, uh, we are taken right to the, uh, to the table of contents of the lexicon. But I'd like to go about accessing the lexicon in a more roundabout manner because you'll not always be directly on this page. Um, and so uh, I'd like to show you how you can access it from essentially uh, almost any portion of the website. I'll go to the home page. From here we'll click on Lessons and then Spanish and then Unit 1. Already here in the, in the table of contents of Unit 1 you can see the button that takes you to the lexicon. It's this multicolored uh, button composed of a, it's a composite of uh, images that correspond to vocabulary from Unit 1. As I click on it it takes me to the table of contents with the four categories of vocabulary uh, found in the lexicon for Unit 1. However, I'd like to also show you that you can access the same uh, table, of contents, uh, table of contents of the lexicon from, uh, from any lesson itself. So let me go back and we'll go to Lesson 1.10, which is the lesson that we're working on today. And I click on it and already up here in the upper right hand corner you see you can, you can find the same button. You can access the lexicon as well from within the lesson. So let's go back to the lexicon now. There are four categories. The first category corresponds to personal pronouns, yo, tu, el, e, etc. The second category, uh, these are the verbs uh, you learn in Unit 1, vivir, hacer, escuchar, lavar, decir, and many more. The third category uh, corresponds to the nouns, which are regularly associated with these verbs, nouns that are frequently used when using um, the, the verbs learned in Unit 1. And then the fourth category, this is a, a scenario between a, a, a young girl and a gentleman who are carrying on a polite conversational a conversation. These are expressions that are f frequently used in such a conversation, such as, uh, hello, how are you, nice to meet you, what's your name, that sort of thing. So that's the fourth category. Let's look at the category dealing with verbs. And we click on, that, um, on those images, and that takes us to the lexicon for the verbs of Unit 1. Here you see all of them that you are learning and will learn in the course of Unit 1. We'll go back to the top, and here are the five verbs that you've learned up to this point. Vivir, hacer, escuchar, lavar, and decir. Now, I said them in that order, but the first benefit of the lexicon is the ability to review vocabulary. Um, but when you're reviewing vocabulary, you don't want to repeat them like I did in that order. Because when we always say words in a certain order, we can tend to memorize them almost like a poem without really thinking about what we're saying. Vivir, hacer, escuchar, lavar, decir. Uh, and, and so as you review vocabulary, review it out of sequence, in random order. Uh, hacer, lavar, decir, vivir, escuchar. Now, of course, you're going to want to be able to click on these images to confirm that you're saying these correctly, that you're identifying them correctly, uh, and also that you're saying them correctly. And that leads to the second benefit of the lexicon, which is the ability to see a close-up of me pronouncing these words. So let me show you. I click on escuchar. 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 And there you see a close-up of me pronouncing the word that you can thereafter repeat. Uh, you can imitate the pronunciation. Uh, here's another. 
lavar, lavar. So those are the two benefits of the lexicon, the ability to review your vocabulary as well as uh, to uh, to hone your pronunciation of these of these words. And this, uh, this the, these close-up images of me pronouncing the words are available for every single word in all four categories of the Unit 1 lexicon. Well, you're about to go into uh, uh, Lesson 1.10 after you go to point 2 on today's instructions. Let me take you back to the instructions that you uh, received for Day 14. Here we are. You see, point two is going to take you back to the lexicon, give you a chance to familiarize yourself with it a little bit. Then point three takes you to lesson 1.10. In 1.10, you're being presented, uh, just like you saw in the video uh, during the last class, being presented with some new vocabulary, supplementary vocabulary. These are nouns, which are frequently used with those first five verbs that you have learned thus far. And you'll be using those nouns in uh, complete statements, uh, affirmative statements, negative statements, and questions formed in two different ways. Uh, uh, and so at this point, I'll set you free to, to go about that process. There is one last activity at the end of Lesson 1.10 I didn't mention, and that's a self-presentation. You'll see images uh, which will remind you of topics about which you're already capable of speaking. You have a stopwatch, which is going to give you one minute in which to say as much as you can about yourself while looking at those images to remind you of the topics you can talk about. So at this point, you're free to go on to point number two within day number 14. I'll see you soon. Adios.